So 3D printers is essentially like a normal domestic printer except it's got a y-axis. So it prints up and down as well as left and right. You've got plastic that goes through an extruder, gets heated up, and your 3D object is made in layers. Um, the layers being placed on top of each other and sort of stick together to create a final object. The process of sending the file to the printer is again very straightforward. Um, as long as the 3D object has a certain file type, STL, OBJ, it can be interpreted directly by the printer software. The printer software takes that object and creates or interprets that into a number of layers and sends the object straight to the printer. The machine takes plastic from spools at, at the rear. Uh, there are two spools in this machine so it can actually print in two colours. Spools are fed with motors up into uh, the top of the machine. They get, then go down into the extruders which are effectively the heating elements and then they place the plastic onto the build plate which is also heated to make the object stick. The plastics they are quite sturdy and um, watertight and relatively inexpensive. It will cost around £65 for a kilogram of this stuff which means that a typical object will cost in the region of 50 pence. This technology opens up a whole range of possibilities. Not only can people take their ideas, their designs and, and see something within a matter of hours, but it also allows people to be really creative and come up with um, new ideas, new designs that they would probably have to spend a lot of money on manufacturing otherwise. I love the idea that we might um, be slightly more greener by using this tech in that we cut out all the kind of waste that goes with standard manufacturing. So you can literally make to order with this technology. The other thing I love about it is that it opens up new possibilities for recycling. We could take plastic bottles and then um, process them into the extruder that goes into the printer that prints another plastic bottle. So you can see um, it's quite a green technology in, in many ways and it's quite a um, it's quite open-ended.